50 years ago, many of the women's sports teams at Grand Valley and other public universities across the country didn't exist. June 23rd celebrates the 50th anniversary of Title IX, American legislation stating that no one can be discriminated against because of their gender in education and athletics. It's about being grateful and so it's about the gratitude of, of where we're at, but it's also about a sense of responsibility of what, what I need to do and what I need to commit to going forward so I can ensure the women behind me can say, I stood on her shoulders. When Nancy Giardina graduated from college, just one of every 27 girls participated in youth sports. Thanks to Title IX, it's now two in five girls on the field. Title IX implemented in 72. I graduated undergraduate school uh, in 74. And the immediate change that we saw was women who came out of undergraduate uh, schools with their degrees in health and physical education and were coaching began to create the programs that didn't exist. The number of girls and women's participation is increasing, but sophomore guard and Westphalia native Ellie Drosty says there's still a stigma around women's sports. I mean, I just wish that we could get just like more support. I think it's starting to get better. I think we're definitely starting to get like more crowds. I think we're definitely starting to get more recognized, but there still is that like NBA like stereotype, like they're going to be better kind of a thing like that. But I think um, as we just continue to grow and continue to get better, I think this is just a great opportunity for us females. Title IX usually gets brought up in the conversation of athletics, but its reach is much larger. Just 11% of women had a bachelor's degree in 1970. That number has now jumped to 45% as of 2019. Sharice Mitchell, the CEO of the YWCA of West and Central Michigan, says they've been promoting girls and women's equity for over 100 years. Just knowing that the YW has been engaged in as part of our mission, empowering women and girls, knowing that from our inception in 1900 here in Grand Rapids, 1921 when we built this building, we were stepping into spaces saying there's got to be a space for women and girls to live and thrive. There is still a ton of progress to be made when it comes to gender equity in education and athletics, but Giardina thinks Grand Valley's on the right track. I'm incredibly proud of our athletic director, Carrie Becker, the entire coaching staff, and the men here at GVSU who support women's sports as well.